Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam and in this PTC Creo Parametric Series. Today in this video, we will talk about pattern and in pattern specific access pattern. If you want to follow other pattern variant or complete PTC Creo Parametric Series, please do check out the description of this video where we have added the playlist as well as you will find other topics related to engineering now let's get back to our topic which is how we can create access pattern in ptc Creo parametric okay so first of all you need to find out to what you want to create pattern of so in this case uh, let's say i would like to create pattern of this particular entity okay so first of all let me select this group uh, which contain both this extrude and the radius the entire feature that I would like to pattern Now let's click here on pattern and this time I'm gonna select this and then let's go here to access now We need to select the axis. Okay, so let's actually go here and enable access But as of now there is no access. So I'm gonna actually cancel it and Let's create an axis here so I'm gonna click here on axis and then let's give it two reference or let's actually make it zero and this one also has zero okay and now uh, what more I would like to do is I would like to make it slightly closer so let's make it like 30 and this one also it's 30 okay so I would say it is totally up to us depending on our requirement. We can adjust it. Let's actually make this one as zero. Now let's click here model region rate and actually let's also measure the width of it, which is five. Now uh, let's again select this local group and uh, I'm gonna make this as minus 2.5. So this will make this uh, entity in the center. And now let's again, um, I'm gonna select this whole group. And uh, even you can see here, the pattern is also available in this mini toolbar. Let's click on it and then access, okay? Now you will see that the access is not available here. And the reason is because access is just being created after this local group. So what I'm going to do here is in this feature tree, I'm going to drag this axis and I will take it before this local group. Since this axis is not dependent on any of these, I mean, these are not parent of this axis. So we should not have any problem of placing it here. However, if you try to put it before extrude one, that's not possible because extrude one is the one of whom we have taken the reference to build this axis. So basically, um, extrude one is parent of this A2 axis. Now again, let's go back and select local group pattern. And this time, um, let me again select axis. And now you will find this axis here. So make sure that you plot axis before the entity that you would like to pattern now i'm going to select this axis and by default here you can see there are four instances of this being added now let's click ok and then we will talk about more customization and there we go so here we can see uh, we have created these uh, four replica of this feature along this axis now again let's go back at a definition and uh, if i go here in option here is uh, this option which is follow axis rotation let's say you would like to keep orientation of that uh, feature as it is then you can uncheck this option and now if you click ok here you will see it is not following any orientation and then the objects or features are being placed as it is Again, let me go back, edit definition, option, and then um, I'm gonna select follow axis orientation. And now again, you can see it is back as it was. So I would say it is totally based on our requirement and then we can play with these settings. 
then just like in case of dimension and direction we saw how we can add more customization here is also the possibility of doing it all we need to do is we need to go here in dimensions and then we need to click here on add item and now let's say you would like to increase this particular dimension uh, by three and let's click okay and there we go so here we can see uh, with every instance the height of this uh, particular dimension is increasing by three so that is also possible and let me again go back uh, one thing i didn't discuss in our last uh, pattern videos is if you click here on any of these entities and make it unchecked you will basically uh, disable that particular instance so this is also i would say a very a uh, nice thing here in the pattern tool because sometimes it may happen that you know you do not want everything there uh, you would like to delete or disable certain instance so that possibility is also there now uh, we have seen how we can control the alignment we also have seen how we can customize it now let's talk about increasing instance so that's pretty easy we can instead of four i'm gonna place nine and now you will see nine but because the angle between members is 90 degree so that's why we are actually not seeing it so now what we can do here is if you would like to keep the equal distance between them you can click on angular instance now you will see everything have equal distance and we have created all of them or you would like to keep angle based on your requirement so that is also possible we need to click again on angular instance and now i'm gonna say let's say you only would like to cover the hemicircle which is 180 degree then in that case uh, the angle needs to be 20 yeah 20 degree and since we have nine uh, instance so nine into 20 would be 180 and here again you can see uh, we have created this axis again let me go back edit definition this time um, instead of creating this in only one direction i'm gonna also want to create it in the second direction okay and then here i can put the radial distance so let me put this radial distance as uh, around 30 i would say so this is my radial distance yeah let's keep it 30 and see what happens and there we go guys yeah we can see how this now look like and let me actually disable axis and plane and this is how this final axis pattern look like so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful informational if so, then please do like and subscribe to Engineering Pritam to follow entire PTC Creo Parametric series and other engineering related topics. And I will see you soon with one session of the video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.